All right, finally got these boats to where I can fiberglass them. And this is the large size hull. And on this one, um, I can't get the 50 inch fiberglass roll to reach all the way around. Uh, and that's the one I use on the deck and wrap down. And I usually like to wrap oh, about an inch and a half uh, overhang so you can uh, um, flop it over and wet it out and it has enough um, surface area to stick. And this one here is the regular size and I'm doing it the way I normally do it. I put the 50 inch roll of cloth on first and uh, I'll cut it about an inch and a half here and then wrap it around the bottom and then when that's dry I'll flip the boat over and um, do the uh, the bottom of it and this one's just the opposite see the 50 inch will only come to oh, about right about there so I have to overhang this and then and then hopefully the 50 inch overlaps this just a hair so I'm doing this one the opposite way of normal but I have no choice so anyways I will trim out the cloth on this boat here and then I'll show you what I've done got the uh, cloth cut out on the deck and uh, cut it about an inch and a half or so heavy and uh, you kind of pie cut the corners like that so you can wrap them and I'll probably wet out uh, the whole deck and then cut out for the cockpit as I go as it's needed because I think if I cut it out now um, I think the cloth will get all messed up so I'm just gonna leave it alone anyways I've got this overhang down here and then the bow I did the same pie cuts on that I got the uh, deck all wetted out and uh, I um, use a rubber squeegee too and these help uh, push the epoxy into the cloth and spread it out better and so if you got dry spots you can kind of move the the epoxy around and push it in and get a nice even coverage with epoxy and, and cloth Next step is to start wetting down the sides and then I'll squeegee the sides too and then wrap the corner all, all along the bottom which is the worst part. Alright, I've got both the sides wet out and now i got to wrap the got bottom. all glassed and the cockpit wrapped. I trim this about an inch down and then two inches down there same in the back, wrapped it around. I'll just have to sand off those stringy strings. And then the uh, block train bay here, I just cut it right down the middle and folded it down each side. On the bottom, um, that's basically how it looks, wrapped up. And then where the push rod comes out, when that's dry, I'll trim that with a razor knife. And here's the nose block. Got a few funky folds here, but I'll just sand those off. Today, the uh, fiberglass is dry. And I'm just trimming out um, some of these places where the uh, little strands and other things that need to be removed. I flipped the boat over and uh, you can see how I over overlapped the uh, fiberglass on the bottom. And there's a, areas, you know, like this here that didn't wrap very well. And so my next step is, is I kind of sand, sand the, the high spots off and blend it in so when I uh, laminate the bottom I'll overlap it a little bit with the bottom layer of cloth and this is a variable speed polisher that I put a sanding disc on and the key to sanding epoxy 
is to try to not let it get too hot while you're sanding it. And that's where a variable speed comes in handy. And so I can put it on like 600 RPMs and it spins slow and it doesn't heat up. And when it, when it heats up, it, it uh, gums up the sand pan. And when you run low RPMs, it stays a lot cooler and your sandpaper lasts a lot, lot longer uh, because it doesn't gum up. And this just has the uh, Velcro hook and loop pad on it. And this is a DeWalt and it's a DWP 849X 7 inch, 9 inch polisher. I've got the uh, bottom of the boat sanded where the cloth overlapped, got rid of the bumps, and uh, now it should blend blend in easier with the new cloth that I'm going to wrap on the bottom, and hopefully avoid more bumps by cleaning up now. <coughs> Turned out pretty good, pretty happy with it. So the next step is to cut the cloth, and I'll cut it, I'll end it right about here, all the way around since it's already been overlapped once. No need to do it again. Okay, I've got the uh, cloth cut and it's held inside the edges. Around a half inch to three quarters of an inch because we've already wrapped over the edges once already. And anyways, I am ready to start applying the epoxy. Okay, I've finished fiberglassing whole bottom now, and I think I'll just let this dry over the weekend, and then I'll start putting on um, a couple coats on the bottom, a couple coats on the sides and the top, and then uh, we'll sand it after that, and then it'll be ready for either varnish or paint.